When I was three years old, I locked myself in the bathroom of my house. My house at the time was three stories, and I was at the top. True story. The birth certificate of Julia Naranoa Pihima identified her as full-blooded Māori. True story. Julia Naranoa Pihima was my grandmother. True story. All Māori are uneducated thieves living on the benefit using wins to pay the bills, forgetting who the loser really is. Not true. This brown skin means theft. Not true. These hands means fight. Not true. This culture means domestic violence. Not true. I am a different shade of brown. I'm in a place where green doesn't mean go, and when pot isn't necessarily found at the end of the rainbow, but in our gardens. And these pots aren't sitting on our stoves with only water and false hopes, because while I used to be there was a boil up to feed the whole whanau. But then you took away my pork bones, and my watercress, and my bonus in life because I'm mouldy and I'm starting behind. You might call me plastic because I can't fluently speak my tongue, because my pot was always full, because I'm close to my dad, I'm sorry. My brown doesn't match your definition. I might not have started from the start, but I feel that I'm going pretty good in this race. But because I'm mouldy, you think that my mouth means curse words, that my hands mean gang signs, that my fingers mean theft, that my knuckles mean fight, grazing as my fingers starts with the moonlight and the streetlight, not knowing that these hands just not hold my mother's hands, galloping wool, but the cold stereotypes corroding a young boy's mind with negligence. Forces him to pry his fingers away from his mother's hands Ripping him from the tikanga that was set out before him It's not like that but no one understands You try to speak up but it's a deafening silence <laughs> Colonization is forced stereotyping to become a household name Which resides under our beds becoming the monsters that we're now scared of but these tiny fives started to show through as we accept these definitions labeled to our backs with our minds possessed by this monster. I might not be a stony, a thief. I might be two shades too white to be considered brown. But I'm proud of who I am. My pepeha say so. Ko tukutuka te maunga. My hands do not mean violence. Ko wairoa te awa. I'm just trying to take back what was originally mine. Ko mahuhu ki te rangi te waka. I don't know where I stand in this land conflict because the land never belonged to me, but I belong to the land. Ko ngā pohi roa, ko ngā te whātua ngā iwi. The leaves on my family tree have fallen, but the roots are still embedded. Ko te hoanga te marae, you hold a noose around my neck, but the rope is my own taonga. But the skin, this culture, this fucker papa means too much to me to forget. Forget where I come from. Forget their families aren't a broken mirror from a book published by Alan Duff. And their blood only comes from breaking up the broken pieces, but the glass is sharper than our words and no one speaks out. But the people keeping the thought of Māori oppressed don't know that my culture ain't got shit to do with skin colour, with financial stability, with who you hang out with, but what you say about yourself. I am Māori. True story. <laughs>